Who that nation? Saints family. Saints fans all over the world. The schedule is finally released. It is your boy, Daniel Talks. Listen, before we begin, do me a favor. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, hit that subscribe button, like this video, and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. The schedule is finally here. It was released last night at 8 p.m. And I'm excited because the schedule's doable for us. It's doable. And with the team that we've, we've assembled, uh, the key additions that we've gotten free agency, uh, the, the amazing draft that we had, I feel like the draft could have been a little better, but I feel like the pieces that we picked up is definitely going to help. I love the fact that we addressed the defensive line, defensive end um, positions. Pass rush was uh, much needed. We were one of the worst last year, so let's hopefully we can turn this around this year. So for starters, Tennessee Titans, we got them at home. Beatable team, great coaching staff, and Mike Rabel. They had a great GM and Ron Carthon. They have picked up a lot of key pieces to make their team better. It's going to be a defensive test for us to see if we can stop Derrick Henry. Um, hopefully, I mean, test. our run defense last year was god awful. So hopefully, um, Derrick Henry coming into town and with the youngsters that they have assembled, we can do can do we can do what we did a couple of years ago, and that stopped the run again. And I feel like the roster that we have, this the schedule that has been given to us, we can win 10, 11, 12 games. And I would be surprised if we couldn't. And, and it's going to be a test. And then we have the Panthers right after that in week two. And that's going to be a test for young Bryce Young, Isaiah Foskey, Brian Breesey, those guys. You know, they're going to they're gonna attack. And we're going to see if Bryce Young can hold up. He's a 5'10 quarterback. He cannot see over bigger offensive linemen or defense linemen. But he is a smart quarterback. Who we'll see. Is it going to be Andy Dalton's revenge game against us? Or is it going to be um, Bryce Young under center? We never know, right? Um, Coach Frank Wright has already announced that Andy Dalton is listed as a starter right now. Uh, but we'll see. Things can change real quick. One bad game can turn into a Bryce Young show. So I feel like we can beat the Panthers there. Uh, it's going to be a tough crowd. We always lose at their home. Um, they have a very, very disciplined coaching staff. And I feel like this is a time where we can, you know, go over that hump and go over there and get a win. Uh, last year, we played awful against those guys. Their defense stifled us. So hopefully our high-octane offense can come back like the good old days with Breeze. So Derek Carr has a lot of shoes to fill. Um, he has the, uh, tough shoes to fill that, you know, comes a long way. But, man, I want to put an ass whooping on those Carolina Panthers. Trust me. I would love to see an ass whooping. And I would love to see an R pass just get over there. And if Andy Dalton's under center, we're going to show him why we let him walk. Because he was an average ass quarterback for us. And there are times when I saw him, I was like, why didn't Jameis Winston play? Who knows? Bowser coming off the edge, pass to the end zone. Wide open was Callaway, and he's missed. Maybe DA had an issue with him, like rumors has it, right? Green Bay Packers, always tough to play in Lambeau Field. Oh, man, it's going to be a Jordan Love era. We're going to see how he does. I mean, he looked good when he stepped in for Rodgers a couple times. So we're going to... For Jordan Love. 37. Here he is throwing in the middle. It's caught by Watson. He's got great speed. Turning the corner. Christian Watson down the sideline. And he will score. Let's see, but, I mean, he has a great arm. And he's a prototypical height for it. I mean, he's an athletic enough quarterback to make throws and to make the runs. So... We're going to see what his era looks like. Him and Christian Watson, the youngsters over there. Um, they have a very young team, so we'll see. And Matt LaFour, Matt LaFour is not is not some kind of coach that you can walk over. And there are things that he does well and enough to even make a, a, a Green Bay Packers, like a team like that, that young, into a playoff team. And I'm, I'm, just, I'm just going on about how things may be, but I'm going to tell you, that's going to be a tough game to play. Always tough game playing Lambeau Field. Uh, Bucks, we need this win. We used to own Brady. We used to own Brady until last year. Last year was awful. Brady, Brady pretty much killed us a couple times. I mean, it was, it was close games, but we have Brady's numbers. I miss CJGJ. I mean, he signed with the Lions. Good memories when he's to taunt Brady. Um, there's gonna be a clip about that, but. We're 
And the Saints recover with Lattimore. What a game Cameron Jordan is having tonight. And Marcus Davenport, you overload to that side, so you end up with pass rushers inside. But once again, we see that lurking guy in the middle of the field and the looks that Tom Brady wants to take advantage of. Really? Like this? He said, yo. <laughs> I love that. And I think we can win. Whether it's Kyle Trask on the center or it's going to be, I mean, I don't know. Baker Mayfield. Baker Mayfield, to me, is he still he still has it. I'm not saying he's a, like a amazing quarterback or or anything like that like he's like oh yeah he's a he's gonna fix the he's gonna fix the organization and whatnot i mean he looked pretty good with the rams a couple times i feel like with the right fit that baker can play in the right scheme and system but whether it's baker mayfield or kyle Trask under center we'll see but i know that we could whoop that ass their their team is brand new almost i can't say brand new but they have they still have their uh, key veteran players on Levante David and whatnot. I think Devin White asked for a trade recently. I'm not sure if it's going to get done or not, but they have a squad. They have a decent squad. Just that will they hold up? Mike Evans, Chris Godwin's going to be back. Um, we'll see. But I feel like Marshawn Lattimore, can, if he can stay healthy, please, if he can stay healthy and our defense can stay healthy, I feel like things can change. Um, the New England Patriots... On week five, tough game over there at Gillette Stadium. Cold as shit. Hopefully it won't be too cold, but we'll be get well, we definitely got a cold, a cold day ahead of us in Boston. Hopefully, uh, that could be a win for us. That's a tough place to play as well. Bill Belichick has a lot of key additions. They got that TikTok dancer and uh, Juju Smith dancing fucking too much. Hopefully, uh, Coach Belichick will put him in check, and he will. Coach Belichick does not fuck around. You cannot do that in his, in his, in his team. You can't do that, or he will bench you or kick you off the team in a heartbeat. I, I, he has no, his no, what do you call it, no bullshit policy. And hopefully, Juju can mature and realize that he's not that great of a receiver. He just had Patrick Mahomes last year. So, I hope, I hope that we can get a win there. A uh, tough team, but Mac, you know they're gonna either have Mac Jones under center once more, or have uh, I believe they, they got an undrafted QB, or I'm not sure if that's the team that added Tanner Morgan, but I could be wrong. So, Houston Texans, CJ Stroud, Will Anderson, great pickups. I, I feel like Houston Texans had a hell of a draft. Uh, that's a t that's a team to look at because they uh they got they, they had a lot of key pieces as well. Uh, tough place to play at home, uh, their home in NRG Stadium, but I think we can get the W. Jacksonville Jaguars, much respect to Coach Peterson for what he did. Trevor Lawrence is uh, just growing, evolving before our eyes. Uh, Doug Peterson is indeed a quarterback whisperer, and he has changed the culture of the team in general. <laughs> oh, my God, way better than Urban Myers era where he took over, and Urban Meyer looked like he was lost, like a deer in headlights. And owner Shaq Khan just he said, "No, fuck that. You're out of here." So I hope um, we can beat this team. It's a tough team to play against. Uh, they had a decent defense last year, but their offense is so much better now. And they got they're getting back um, Calvin Ridley from his gambling hoarding days. So hopefully he'll learn his lesson. But they got a good receiver coming back, and Calvin really got the speed and route running skills to take it over the top. So. We got a lot of work to do. Colts, a uh, brand new team in the state and Shane Steichen. Um, hopefully, this is the team that's looking to grow, obviously. Um, you can't take any game for granted. We're playing at Lucas Oil Stadium, hopefully. I mean, they're, they're a tough stadium to play as well. Their crowd is great and their fans are great. It's just that, uh, you no, know, we just got to keep our head up. And, and keep it pushing and hope that we can keep our squad healthy for 16, 17 games at most and, and be in a position where we don't have to play for desperate measures where we have to make the playoffs or we have to rely on another team to beat another team for us to get in. Let's, let's just avoid that. We haven't been in the playoffs for two years and it's, it's heart breaking our hearts right now. Chicago Bears. Love Chicago. I love, I actually like Chicago Bears and the things they did. 
Um, their general manager, Ryan Pace, is you know is doing some things over there as well. Justin Fields is growing before he got injured, and he was, Justin Fields was having a hell of a season. Three-yard line on first down. Fields, play fake, throws, caught. Speaking of Mooney, there he is. You try to adjust Fields or allow Fields to maybe his skill set to run a different kind of a system and an attack. They're 0 for 5 on third down, the third and six here. Fields is going to take off and Fields to the 40 yard line. Deep down field and it is going. A hell of a season. In until he got injured, and his his fantasy stats were off the charts. And he was a free agent in my um, league, by the way. And I picked him up real quick until he got injured, but he put up a lot of points. Shows the speed and arm strength and the vision that he has, and the accuracy that people underestimate. But he has a he has that it factor t- to lead a franchise, and he he's he's smart. So watch out for the Bears. But I think we can get the W there. The Minnesota Vikings have that shit defense still. Still, I mean, they drafted a few players. Address of the secondary, but I feel like their defense hasn't gotten much better unless they make some major changes or hopefully with their um, old defensive coordinator, Ed, Ed McDonald or Ed McDonald, old McDonald, I don't know, Ed O'Connell, whatever his name was, trash, obliterated by Daniel Jones and the Giants. And the- <laughs> I just want to get this off my chest. That shit was not my fault. Y'all are trash. And I mean this from the bottom of my heart. Y'all are trash. Like, y'all are so trash. I want you to know that I'm talking to you, so I'm going to say your name, then I'm going to call you trash. That playoff game. But that trash. Trash. So hopefully our offense can keep up with their offense because their offense is nice too. I mean, they got JJ and and Jordan Jordan Addison from uh, USC. They got two receivers that take it over the top. Excellent route runners. Excellent. Premier elite route runners. We got we got our hopefully our secondary can hold out with Marshawn Lattimore, Paulson and Debo, and Alante Taylor. Alante Taylor, I'm rooting for you, man. I'm rooting for you. Week love Marcus Mariota out. Desmond Ritter's gonna probably be the starter. Um they have a, a whole new uh running back core, and I love, love, love D uh, B. John Robinson out of Texas. A hard runner, great uh, pass catcher in the backfield. He runs routes like a receiver if you haven't seen his tapes yet. And I, I like him. I like his vision. I like his burst. And he he was probably – there is a reason why he went that high in the draft. So let's, let's just face it. Out of the pistol. It'll be Robinson. And he finds a running lane. What a sweet move to the second level and beyond. He's going to be a working horse, and we're going to see how he does. But they have pieces that are, you know, that are trying to mesh as well, and they have they have the receiver, like Drake London. He's no slouch, and you got Kyle Pitts, who could be arguably one of the best tight ends in the league if they had a quarterback. But Marcus Mar- Mariota, Mariota, or whatever you could pronounce his name, Mariota Bubblegum, I don't know. He can't throw for shit, so we'll see. And then you got Detroit Lions. Love what Dan Campbell's doing. Miss that guy. We love him. Uh, all the Saints fans miss him. You can see the passion that he has, the respect that he gets from his guys. Like, he knows how to coach. He's personable. Like He knows how to coach. Love him to death. I'm going to say this again. Dan Campbell, love you. We love you. All the Saints fans love you. We miss you. Uh, but we wish you nothing but the best. I can't even say anything bad about the guy. Like That team, he has turned the culture around. They almost made the playoffs. They just got unlucky, but they almost made the playoffs. And I am so, so happy for that guy. So tough matchup. Um, hopefully we can get a W, but that's also a game that I want to keep a look, close eye on because, I mean, he's a great coach. And the things that they are doing right now, and, and they just got to get their defense in check. I feel like their offense is very underrated, but they have a great core of guys that you can lead with. And watch out. They're a playoff team, guys. Carolina Panthers, we have them at home. Hopefully, we can whoop their ass every time they come to our dome. Sometimes we, like I said, they always give us problems. So hopefully, we can whoop their ass. I think by then, Bryce Young will, would have probably would have will solidify his starting spot and take over Andy Dalton. Uh, Andy Dalton most likely will crash and burn. I didn't mean in a bad way like that, but the way he handled our business for us, we had a couple of good games, but I feel like we could have win uh, definitely win more games with James than Andy. So, and 
We got the New York Giants. So, DJ Daniel Jones. From the 12, Jones keeps, gets a block, takes off, and he is gone. Trying to stay upright, and he trips. Wasn't that defense? The Giants had a subpar average defense. Their offense is much better this year, but I want to shut DJ down. I know he's underrated. There are things, a lot of things that he does is, is great. He's accurate. It's just that I want to show up Brian Debo. De, Brian Debo has done so much for that team. And it's a testament to if you have a good coach, you could do so many things. And there are things that he's doing for that team that a lot of a lot of coaches couldn't have done. And and Brian Dable is another example of why I wanted him. And I'm not throwing shade at DA, but DA does not we, we, we know DA as the failed Raiders coach. I mean, his his resume as a head coach is not the sexiest. But having a guy like Brian Dayball, man, I think we could have done much better last year than people would have imagined. And that team we had last year was not supposed to be like that. We had the talent. Like, we had the talent to do stuff. I just feel like we just didn't have the correct leadership. Um, Los Angeles Rams, John McVay, hats off to you. Nothing but respect for you, man. But that team is gonna is a rebuilding process right now. He knows it. Jalen Ramsey is an off to the Miami Dolphins, and they have a um, couple of key pieces still. Is Aaron Donald still playing? I don't think you're not his retirement, right? I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. I'm having a brain fart, but I think AD is still on that team. I mean, they still have great pieces, and Matthew Stafford is coming back. Um, hopefully, he can stay healthy, but. I feel like we can get the W. Why? Because I feel like this team that we build again is going to show the NFC why we're going to run it. And hopefully we can be one of the best teams on paper. I mean, it's going to be a challenge. So um, I feel like we can get the W. If you lose to the Rams at their house, I mean, I'll be pissed off. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> they're not as good as they used to be. but And their secondary is trash. And they have a lot of like youngsters that can play, but they got ripped apart last year. So we'll see what happens. And then finally, we go with our rivals. We got the Bucks on week 17. In the week 18, we have the Atlanta Falcons. Closing out the series, let's just pray that this is not one of those games, like I said, a season where we you know if DA can have the right mindset, focus at task, and take each game seriously and have the right leadership. And please, I pray. That we're not going to be in a position where we have to do a do or die game, where we have to win the next, the last two divisional games to make it to the playoffs. I hope that we are in a position where we make the playoffs and that we can rest our starters either week 17 and 18 or week 18, ideally speaking. But that's going to be tough. Uh, always playing the Bucks at their house and then having the Atlanta Falcons come into our home. It's just that we got we to gotta end this strong. Hopefully, we're in a position where we're either 13 and 3, 12 and 4. Blah, 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 blah. One of those, ideally speaking. But I see us maybe if we can stay healthy for 16, 17, you know, weeks. Uh, I think I think what I'm judging by the schedule, I think we can at least win 12 games. Minimum 12 games. And uh, yeah, our sky is the limit for our team. Like people talk shit on us as if we have... You know, I mean, Derek Carr, let's not face it. He's no slouch either. Like, he had a rough career with the Raiders, but he also had a stellar career when he's healthy. Um, he shows flashes. He's a much, much better upgrade than the quarterbacks we had in the past post-Drew Brees era. So, I'm happy about it. Um, I'm, I, you can't talk about it yet because we haven't seen how he plays in our system. Michael Thomas, I hope he stays healthy. And I truly hope that the Alvin Kamara stuff gets fucking settled down. I want to see what happens. He's most likely going to get suspended for five to eight games. I mean, he beat the shit out of the dude. And I, I hope the guy that got salted is all right. It just said this is a lesson learned for young Kamara. And I hope that we come to a conclusion. I don't I don't think trading him is the right move. I feel like we need to keep him. Um, and him and I'm, – I'm serious. Like Kamara and, and Jamal Williams duo is going to be a fucking beast. It's going to be so much better than what DeAndre Swift and – uh, Jamal Williams portrayed. I think Kamara and Williams could be a much better one-two punch. And they're both strong as shit, so we'll see what happens. 
I, I cannot wait for football season. I am counting down the days. I got the calendar and everything. I wrote everything down. Like, I'm so excited. And I want to see how far this team can go. And please, God, please, DA, please, DA, please, DA, please, DA. Do not fuck this up for us. And I hope the coaching staffs that are behind and the associate head coaches, assistants, all of them, defensive coordinators, offensive coordinators, please end. I pray that our offensive coordinator this year, I pray, and I hate that we sucked last year, but please, redemption. Redemption. Redemption, redemption, redemption. Please. Please. This is our year to bounce back. Let's get our asses in the playoffs. And I cannot wait for football season. So who that nation? Who that? Who that? Who that says going to beat them Saints? Let's fucking go.